I really dug deep because I wanted to answer the question truthfully, and so I will answer it truthfully now. Hi, I'm Kate Winslet, and this is my Audible questionnaire. Well, I have a few, but I think my absolute favourite sound is the sound of waves crashing on the sand. Gravelly drag and pull of the waves as it sweeps, sweeps back. Wonderful rumbling sort of crash as it hits the sand. And it makes me feel sort of optimistic for some reason and I love the water. And my second favourite sound, actually probably is really my favourite sound if I'm honest, is the sound of my children giggling, which to me is always <laughs> incredibly infectious and wonderful and glorious and makes me happier than anything. My least favourite sound is the sound of sirens the sound of an ambulance or police cars. That always makes me very nervous and fearful. And um, I always say a quiet little prayer for whoever is in need. Do I work best in silence or noise? I work best in silence. I cannot handle any noise at all. I get very easily distracted by sound. Sometimes I even put earplugs in. If I'm reading a script or I'm concentrating on a text, I'll actually even put earplugs in just to even quiet the sound of my own, my own sound, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, um, but that's true. I most like in storytelling, um, creating voices, creating characters. I absolutely love that because I know it adds so much to the narrative and I know that it adds a huge amount to the rhythm and the colour of a story, particularly for the listener, especially if it's children. Um, they can conjure up how a character might look just based on whether they have a lisp or not, or whether they have an American accent or a Scottish accent or an Irish accent or just a plain old posh English accent. Um, it can make a huge difference to how the listener imagines that character might appear to be as a person. And that for me is wonderful. So that's my favorite part of storytelling. I suppose I don't like continuing on with telling a story to a child if I can sense they're not really enjoying it. So if there's anything about the experience for the child that is irritating, boring, or just not pleasant, then, then I'd prefer to stop and just choose another book. Who would I want to narrate my life or my life story or memoir? It's Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren is an actress I have admired for as long as I can remember. I just think that she is powerful. I think she's grounded. I think she's beautiful. I think she's interesting. I think she's kind of sassy and cool. And I absolutely love the sound of her voice. Who do I write or create for? Myself. I know that sounds strange, but I do it for myself because I just love it. Whose praise of my work is most important? Hmm, my children, really my children. I have a 20 year old, a 17 year old and a seven year old and they are always utterly honest and they are always utterly adoring and completely um, in my team, on my side. And so if they can tell that I'm nervous about a performance or if I'm hopeful that they might like it or audiences in general might like it, they always pitch their opinions in a certain way. Um, but ultimately I care the most about the opinions of my children. Success is knowing that you have achieved true happiness in your chosen vocation, whatever that might be. My greatest achievement, my happy grounded family. Everyone is just doing fine. They're all good people. They're kind. They're funny. They're compassionate. They're charitable um, and interesting and interested in the world. And that to me means more than anything. <laughs> it's not often that I'm asked the question, what is my perfect day? I think my perfect day, if I'm really being honest, is just a day spent in bed with someone bringing me food and cups of tea, watching movies or reading. I never get an opportunity to really just hang out like that. So that would probably be my perfect day. I don't really have a guilty pleasure, but if we sort of change the question slightly and turn it more into what's my favorite thing to indulge in, 
I'd have to say probably a good glass of red wine and some absolutely delicious French cheese and wonderful crusty French bread. What would people be surprised to know about me? I don't have very nice feet. I don't know, maybe that's not very surprising, but my feet are very big. I'm a size US 11, which is a UK nine. I'm only five foot five and a half. So actually it isn't fair that my feet are that big. What else might people be surprised to know about me? I'm a terrible procrastinator when it comes to work. And that doesn't mean I'm lazy. It doesn't mean I don't want to do it because I love my job and I love doing my job. I love preparing for my job. I love learning lines. I love every single part of it. But I think I'm also aware of the fact that deep down, I'm actually really good under pressure. So when I'm suddenly in a time crunch, my brain seems to switch on better and I work more efficiently if I leave things a little bit just on the cusp of being slightly too late. So I might just have to work that little bit harder in order to achieve what I need to achieve. And that's all from me.